Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Tutorial Grid. Uh, now, we're going to go into an older tutorial. Um, this one was created with the uh, Energy Ball tutorial, uh, where we created this like neat little energy core and put it into a composition in real time. We have uh, this cool little spinny orb deal right in my, uh, my older kitchen. That is before I moved. But uh, yeah, we got that cool little thing. But if you have gotten this far, you are now on part two. All right, now we are going to uh, start off right where we left off. Now, in order to render this out so we can put it into our composition, what we're going to do is we're going to go make sure this is in full uh, resolution. We're going to go to Composition, Make Movie. Now, I'm going to go into Composition. I'm going to save this into a new folder. Call it Core 2. Save that in there. We'll call it core two. And we are going to hit save. Now we're also going to go down here to output modules, lossless. And we are going to change that from format AVI to ping sequence. That is our key. Ping sequence. Alright, now we're going to click OK. Now we're going to go ahead and render this out. All right, now whenever you have that rendered out, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go into Composition, New Comp. We have 1920 by 1080. And click OK. Now, in our project file, uh, there's you're going to find your footage, and you're going to drag that down. Just drag it straight down. All right, cool. Now we have our standard footage. Looks like uh, me flying around in the kitchen. Yep, that's fun stuff right there, me in a kitchen. But I'm going to start mine off at about right here and move that down. Yeah. And I go into the kitchen. And look, it's me in the reflection. Wee. And move around the camera. and go back. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to put this in this about 8 seconds. But you get the idea. All right. Now, what we're going to do is when whenever you um import this uh footage, what you're going to do is you're going to go to file import uh file. I'm going to import my first core. So, I have all of these cores. Now, you're probably wondering, yours is blue now. Well, I'm using a um my my first core because of time you know I'd much rather you know move this in time but I'm gonna go ahead and import these cores mine says JPEG format but yours will say ping uh, ping or JPEG will work just fine but we're gonna import JPEG or ping sequence so hit OK now I have both these which is my older one, but uh, I'm going to uh, import that. Now, we'll go over to Effects and Presets. If my computer will stop being stupid. For some reason, it's running extremely slow. I'm going to type in Camera Tracker 1.0. We're going to drag that down on top of our camera footage. Now, this, the camera, this camera tracker is going to track our exact camera movements so we'll be able to use it in our composition so what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep this at full resolution and we're going to hit track features now this is going to put multiple locations on our footage and it's gonna track our every movement and uh, I will get back to you here in a second as soon as this is done Alright, now that we have our uh, footage tracked, what we're going to do is we are going to hit Solve Camera. And that's going to solve for our camera here. It's going to put all our points together. Alright, camera solve with 2.2 pixels. That's not bad. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go down to our, yeah, see, it's going to put all our good points in there. Now what we're going to do, uh, this is kind of the secret of creating this effect, um, in order to import it into our footage, we're going to go down to here, our little solve 
layer and we're going to keep our solve point on zero and we're going to hit uh, set reference frame. We're going to hit that and reference frame, reference frame zero. So we're going to go ahead and hit that and hit solve camera again. All right, now we're at 2.07, so we're going get to get a little bit closer. This will be fine for this footage. You're not going to see any like janky little interpolation issues. So this should be just fine. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to our Create Scene tab here. I'm going to Create Scene. All right, now that pulls down our camera as well as a null object. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to find a point on our tracking system that's going to actually import this footage uh, and we're actually going to create a null object for a point on this map. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit control click on this little point right here right in front of the uh, uh, chandelier here. We're going to hit control click and we're going to go down to create uh, let me see here. Let's try this again. Create. Oh my gosh, not doing it. Create. I'm gonna make sure this is selected first, and hit Control Click, and you're gonna go down to Create Null Object. All right, now that's gonna create this null object right here. I'm gonna go ahead and rename it and do uh, Energy Core Ener Inner Guy. I like that Energy Core. All right, so this is where our energy core is going to be. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our project. We're going to import our core here. We're going to place that right on top. Actually, place this right in the middle. Yeah, it's huge. All right, we're going to go ahead and scale it down a bit. All right, this is looking pretty good. I, I, I think I like this. All right, but we're going to go ahead and pick whip this to our energy core. Yeah. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this into a 3D space. Yeah, we're getting crazy now. All right, now we're going to go ahead and scale this down to about where we're going to want it. All right, now we're going to go ahead and hit P on our keyboard with our footage up and we're going to go and uh, change all of our values here. We're going to want them at zero. So go ahead and create zero, zero. That way it goes directly on that point. Now the next, now you're probably thinking, well, I don't want it up there. This is still, it's going to look dumb. What we're going to do is uh, this is this exact point that we created our null object for. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull this down. Whoops. Yeah, going to pull, pull that down right about the center and maybe scale it down just a tad bit uh, actually I kinda like it up yeah about right there alright now next what we're going to do is we're going to hit normal on our blending layer and we're gonna hit screen and we have our ball in our footage but kind of a funny little thing that I actually figured out on an older tutorial on, uh, that I did on this. One of the things I did not do is there is a way to actually keep this facing the camera. Um, but you can kind of see here where it kind of gets a little, little skewy, just a little skewy. But uh, if you actually go in to uh, the settings here, what I did was if you click on it, right click, go to transform, and we're going to go to auto orient and we're going to orient towards camera. That's going to keep this footage, no matter what, facing the camera. That way it does not get out of skew and it just always faces the camera, which is uh, awesome because it's going to add a couple little effects. Now, this looks decent, but what I want to do is I want to uh, kind of go into our curves layer here. I want to kind of bring in some more values and we're just going to make this look a little bit better since I don't want to do, you know, a small short tutorial. I want to actually do this tutorial right for you guys and not feel like such an idiot for not keep going with this tutorial. So, bring down these layers here. Bring that up a little bit. All right. Now, one thing I do like to do is I like to duplicate these layers and create a glow layer. Glow. And 
and pull in the glow layer. Glow intensity. Glow radius. And just kind of brings in just a little bit of a newer element on top of that uh, screened element. Uh, one thing I do like to do is I like to add. Maybe we don't have to use as much intensity here either. This kind of brings in a newer element to our composition. Sometimes, whoops, if you want to make this go a little quicker, we'll go ahead and bring that down to quarter. But that looks, uh, that's looking pretty good. Um, that is the basics of creating a f this effect if you want to quit now. Um, that's pretty much how you import this entire effect into this uh, particle system. I mean, you got this far, and I am proud of you. <laughs> um, hmm, let's see here. What, what can we do to make this awesome? Uh, I haven't opened up this project in literally since I made it, so let's make this cool. Um, let's create a light layer, actually. Uh, let's do layer, new, light. Uh, let's do point light. Okay, and you are actually literally following me along while I'm trying to uh, figure out some of this stuff. So let's, since it's already uh, technically in 3D space, let's do uh, position. Let's do 0, 0, 0, and let's pick whip this also to our energy core and let's see where is this uh, position 34 so we'll go ahead and do 0 0 0 34.2 move that down uh, let's also go into layer new solid let's go let's create a black solid do black and we're going to go into optical flares and it would help if I could spell Jesus Christ all right can go into optical flares video copilot I love I, this is like literally one of my most favorited plugins. If you don't have it, you can go to videocobile.com, download it from there. Uh, it is it is not free. I believe it was $249, but uh, it is awesome. All right, so we'll go into our options and bring over these parameters. Um, there's a couple different presets you can get. You can get the pro presets number two, uh, which there are a lot of really awesome uh presets. This is actually one of my new favorites. I think this is going to work best for our uh, core. So I'm just going to go ahead and import this one. I like this one. The Arctic Circle I think works best. Alright, so we're going to hit that. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do positioning mode, source type, 2D. We're going to do track lights. That's going to go automatically track that light that we put into our composition. Uh, so we're just going to go hit uh, normal and we're going to hit screen. Screen! And let's scale this down just a tad, just a tad bit. All right. Nice. That's awesome. All right, cool. Uh, now one thing we do need to do, we need to do, uh, since we added this little layer here, and shut that down. It did kind of screw up this layer since, uh, yeah, this is now being acted upon by the 3D light. What we're going to do is we're going to bring down our uh, material options, is we're going to turn off our lights. So we're going to hit accept lights off. We don't want it to accept lights. All right, so go back into material options. And we're going to go do the same thing to our bottom layer so we're just gonna go click click material options and accept lights to off alright cool we got that we're gonna go ahead and turn this layer back on and since it's quite bright I'm gonna go ahead and bring our bring that down so now we've got this cool little shiny 
shiny orb and it's uh, going in 3d space we've got this really really shiny spot we've got lights we've got our cool little caustic orbs things uh, going around one thing I do like to add is maybe a little bit of flicker speed since mount add some flicker do uh, motion capturing so we want to go ahead and pull in our motion that way it's not too too good we want it to be a little bit more realistic whenever we uh, move around our our orb here but this is just really something cool you can kind of add to uh, to the effect you know it just sells it a lot better notice how the uh, whenever you use the motion um, you get a lot a little bit of motion blur whenever the uh, the actual effect moves around in uh, 3d space and that light is being transmitted on 3d so whenever you do get closer to this light it does brighten up kind of it's looking pretty cool um, and lastly but not leastly we are going to go into our actual bottom footage and let's play around with the colors so let's go to curves my gosh I cannot spell curves and pull it just down and just kind of add some color here yeah that's looking cool yes it's looking pretty neat but this effect is really easy to do and again I am really sorry that it took me this long to um, make this effect for you but um, that's the easiest way I know how to do it like I said you can do that as a ping sequence or you can do it as a JPEG sequence either way is going to work uh, they all import the same but yeah I think I am finished with this tutorial if you guys seriously have any other questions about it please let me know I'm looking at the uh, YouTube site a lot more frequently now um, as well as I actually have my email set up correctly since all the YouTube changes kind of uh, went awry but I do have that set up correctly so you guys can send me emails also if you do guy if you guys do create a tutorial of your own or if you use this tutorial in a project of your own please uh, I'd like to see it from you guys so if you want to do a video uh, a video response or maybe like email me a couple of the tutorials you do or you know what you use this tutorial on a project for yours I will gladly put it up and uh, show the world what you guys are able to do since I mean I get hits you guys get hits I'd like to help each other out um, also another thing that I would love for you guys to do is to check me out on Facebook yes the ever so loved Facebook I uh, got my Facebook up here but we've uh, we've got some cool projects going on uh, yeah like me as well as uh, you guys can email me personally as well as see some of the other cool projects that we got going on uh, but yeah that is uh, facebook.com slash everproductions 479 please uh, check me out like me and uh, we'll go from there. But this is Cherokee signing off on the tutorial grid. Again, sorry it took me so long to do this. But uh, you guys have a great night.